Hey there! Today we're going to look at line plots. Line plots are just a type of graph that shows the frequency of data along a line. Frequency is just a fancy word that means the number of times an object appears. Don't forget that data is just a set of objects that are being recorded. Let's see how this works using an example. This is a line plot on the number of pencils lost by students in a week. The number below the line shows the number of pencils lost. The dots above the line represent the students that were asked if they lost their pencils. There is one dot above zero, meaning one student didn't lose any pencils that week. Wow! Next, we see five dots above one, meaning five students lost one pencil. There are two dots above two, which means two students lost two pencils. And finally, there's one dot above three, meaning that one student lost three pencils that week. Whew, that's a lot. See how easy it was to look at the information on a line plot? This time, let's try creating a line plot. A teacher has collected the scores for a math assignment and has listed them in a table, which we can see here. Our goal is to create a line plot for this data. First step is to create a title. We can use math assignment scores. Next, let's draw a line and then write the scores that appear on the table. We have 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Now for the fun part, let's draw dots above each number. From the table, it says that four students scored 26. So let's draw four dots above 26. Next, five students scored 27. So that's five dots above 27. Eight students scored 28. So we have to draw eight dots above the number 28. Oh, that's a lot. After 28, we have 29, where we'll need to draw, can you guess how many dots? That's right, three dots according to the table. Finally, it looks like two students scored perfect. Let's draw two dots above 30. And there we have it, a line plot for math assignment scores. Just by looking at this, we can say that most of the students scored 28 on the assignment. Also, the lowest score was 26, while the highest is a perfect score since the assignment had 30 items. I hope that helped you read and create line plots. See you again soon. 
Are you looking for more fun ways to learn math? Check out Bottle Learning and access thousands of math skills all through a fun 3D game. Just visit BottleLearning.com and sign up today.